Hello, hello. This is the Opal and Awesome Entertainment Wrap, episode 235. This is Radhi Shisen. And this is Abhinandan Sekhri and we are recording from different places today. I'm in office because that's what I do. Radhi Shisen is in the comfort of her home. Numbers of COVID cases are going through the roof. So we thought it was wiser Radhi Shisen to stay at home. She's just back from Kolkata and all sorts of travels. But I tested negative. I took a but test. She, yeah, but but then I thought she'd you know come here and then I mean till we have shit sorted out I think we'll get back to recording from home. But the quality of recording is somewhat diminished uh, because we don't I don't have the pleasure of Raj you know being in the same studio as of me. Course. So in any case that becomes a better recording quality. <laughs> also, you <laughs> but, can't slap me, which you do occasionally when the camera is off. This nah? trivializing violence is not a good and, thing. Yeah, and, I, you have to, and you have to stop saying it because it's. not funny and it is offensive <laughs> okay you know that's trying not to laugh well try harder because <laughs> it, it, talking of let like me hitting you know is not funny people have called us out on this you i have never made such a only our friend such a distasteful joke only you do <laughs> but anyway so rajshri sen yes uh, week uh, we will have manu joseph joining us by the way Yeah. We'll be talking about his series, Decoupled. Uh, also, uh, our original plan of starting off this year with Matrix. The Matrix has But, got fucked because yeah. cinemas are closed, and even if they're open, we're not risking it. Yeah. And that other film which you wanted to do the cinemas, uh, Chandigarh Kalyashri. That will come on this thing. Chandigarh Kalyashri will probably come on. So we yeah. do it. So just so you know, we had promised you that we will watch the Matrix. Yeah, and uh, you have to say the matrix like that. Just telling you, that's the rule. And Chandigarh Kare Ashiki, but because of the COVID situation, we are not going to the cinema to watch it. So instead, we will be talking about Atrangire. Don't look up. Minnal Murli, not this week. Next week, because neither of us have watched it. Yeah. Decoupled the series, a Sunny Leone music video which has vanished from YouTube before I could watch it. So I don't know how I'm supposed to review it. Oh, it's gone. They managed to remove it. Who's who managed to remove it? What are you talking about? Oh, uh, Shiv Sena and all. That's why I put it. They were so upset. Okay, we'll talk about that. I thought it was still there. Oh, okay. So we will talk about all these things, and Manu Joseph will be joining us later in the show. Uh, but before that, I would like to urge all of you to subscribe to Pay to Keep News Free. Make your New Year resolution that you will and you you will uh, encourage. and support journalism and the only way to do that is not by watching more trash and buying uh, news papers that are funded by government ads but it is by funding journalism yourself which you can do by subscribing to news laundry because we don't take any ads we depend on you which is why our reporters are going to be around the country reporting the election and our nl sena project that we had collected money for from you is now up see the first story from that project about the Plunder of the Aravalis, uh, and then there'll be more coming up. So yeah, Rajshri Sen, what is your New Year resolution? And you can tell us by starting off from reading the letters also. But tell us how was your New Year? You went to. In fact, let me start off with the letter. Then you can. Talk. <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking so much. So this is from N. The subscriber says, "I was checking Rajshri's LinkedIn. She's the director of global communications in India for Hyatt India Consultancy." Is this a Hyatt hotel chain we all know about? So when you stay at all these amazing places, Sri Lanka pictures you shared were so beautiful. Is that part of your job and not a vacation? And then she has this this expression wala emoji. Isn't a director very high position? You must be the head of your department. You make a lot more than Abhinandan, right? Is that why he keeps hitting you and refuses to pay for your? <laughs> First of all, and these kind of distasteful jokes even you picked up from Rajshri. Okay. Question for Abhinandan: Do you think you would get more women if you had continued with small screen? I have answers for all questions. Are you a richer person, or is your unique appeal as a principled person who gave up money to pursue public good more attractive to women? <laughs> what a question, buddy! But first, I'm not answering yes. all questions. Rashi One, two. Makes a lot more than me. I, I. No, this is okay. First of all, there were many years that I have worked for News Laundry also, and I also. Hosted the podcast for a year or more without ever asking for money, so that you oh. never say. You're such an ass. Absolutely. I'm not saying anything. I've just read a mail. Oh. 
you were agreeing with what this person has implied. And uh, when I stayed in Sri Lanka, those none of those were Hyatt hotels because Hyatt doesn't have any hotels in Sri Lanka, but those are my favorite hotels. And I think everyone should go to Sri Lanka for a holiday. That I strongly advise, but a lot but, of- but, but, your, but, but, but when you, your pictures from Switzerland were work, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I go elsewhere, a lot of the time that's on work, I just make work look like fun. And uh, much like now, see how much I, I look as though I'm enjoying everything so much. And uh, the question for Abhinandan also I can answer because... Uh, Even though it wasn't to you, but as usual. That because I don't answer, answer. Every question, okay. See, Niku portrays, it's like uh, Abhinandan is also half Tam and half Punjabi. So depending on the audience, Niku underplays whichever one he thinks is not going to be that much in favor. <laughs> much like that, depending on which woman is in front of him, Niku underplays his poshness or his, like, you know, I'm a salt of the earth man, India against corruption and all. So it depends on that. So that is- You're done? Part of, yeah, now I'm done, sort of. But so, N, no, I have I, more to add on this. I can add later. <laughs> okay, that was, so okay. N, I, I'm very fascinated by your question, but I have no answer for this. But I, all I can say is I have more than I need. That's and that's more than enough for me. And I don't earn but, more than Abhinandan because he earns a lot. I'm just uh, an employed person. Yeah, yeah, of course, Raj. She said. Yeah. But, <laughs> but now, uh, just saying. So we can start off with don't look up. Uh, because Minnal Murli, neither of seen, we'll see next week. And uh, Atrangi Re, I tried to like subscribe to Hotstar because my subscription it ran so out. Sick you are, yeah. Listen to me, listen. My, my experience of the subscription may be more exciting than the film. Ah, I also have a subscription experience. So yeah. It said that, okay, you subscribe. You, I did that whole thing because hmm. as you know, this new RBI guidelines automatic yeah. news is gone, which has also impacted news laundry very adversely. So please get on news laundry and subscribe and pay to keep news free. But it said that now it is checking. Like I put in all the details. Mm -hmm. so now we will get a confirmation. First we'll check. Like, what are you checking? Then what I get an I SMS checking? 12 hours saying that you haven't got the subscription. So what I, nonsense. Oh, yeah, dude. Hot stuff. It's, it's bizarre. And then, then I saw that the film has uh, uh, Saif's daughter oh. and Akshay Kumar. And, and I was see the beauty. This is God's <laughs> blessing to me that I didn't go through. Why would I watch it? Why would you even put it on the list? Because Rajpur? I wanted to see what everyone was talking. Also, I was stuck at home. I must have been stuck at some home somewhere. Maybe I was in Cal, God knows. But I had a lot of time, a lot more time than I usually have. And I've been on holiday after many, many, many years. I was supposedly on holiday. But uh, Atrangi Re is, I'm just stunned by this film. Because it is directed by A.R. Rahman, I think. Could be, I could he be He doesn't wrong. direct films. He does everything nowadays. Let's see who's directing. Director Anand El Rai and music by A.R. Rahman. Sorry. Anand El Rai has also made other wonders, which we have. Wa I have watched. Uh, Ranjna. Oh, that also had Dhanush. Yeah, then Zero, where Shah Rukh is a little person. Remember, he's an actor. He wants to Tanu Weds Manu, he's made. Wow, that's very funny. Which is very good. Shub Mangal, Sadhan. Okay. He's made some really good some interesting films. interesting films. Yeah, so now the thing is that this film stars... Okay, there was a lot of talk before the film release that Shumar paired up with this Sara Ali Khan. What is Sara Ali Khan? Because Probably she, is his child's age. Yeah. He, has, he has kids, right? Yeah, but his son and she might be like, might have a two year difference at most. And that, you know, that it's so bizarre that uh, she's been cast opposite him and all that. So I sat down to watch it. And I was just so impressed in the first 20 minutes. It gets, it changes in the first 20 minutes because Akshay Kumar is playing a Muslim man who does that, I don't know, in Bengal, this will be incorrect. Please don't get upset, uh, people who are Muslim, that Hassan Hassan Karbala, we call it, in Bengal, you know where you are? Oh, it's not only in Bengal, it happens around the country. <laughs> in Bengal, it happens in Delhi, it happens in Dehradun, it happens everywhere. It's called in, Bing 
in bengal it's in a very cultured way they do it but even oh, then so he's a practicing muslim the way the film starts is that this sara ali khan is running away in a station railway station dhanush is an iit or some uh, oh he's a medical student from tamil nadu south indian boy he is basically madrasi dark madrasi boy fair brahmin hindu girl is running north indian away. North Indian girl and her family is chasing after her and her mother is uh, her grandmother is that Seema Chaudhary Pulan Devi. Okay. Okay, and they basically want to get her Seema married. Seema Chaudhary. Seema Chaudhary. <laughs> Seema. So two, three incorrect things are there. It's okay. That much is allowed. Hmm. Yeah, it's the New Year. Anything's allowed. And uh, she basically is in love with this man since he was fourteen. It's since she was fourteen years old, and that man. is akshay kumar who is a muslim man so they are basically saying that true love is where this girl is willing to give up everything to be with this man then things change because i was so impressed that wow akshay kumar has agreed to take on this role where like you know she goes against the family and all then it transpires that so her family kidnaps uh, dhanush and forces him to marry her they drug him and they force him to marry her and she goes back with him to the to his institute and then it transpires that she has a psychological disorder where she imagines that she is in love with akshay kumar now to me so, that so, means so what does he exist as a person or he doesn't exist no so only someone who is mentally unsound a hindu brahmin woman who is mentally unsound would fall in love with a muslim man is the bottom line of the story no, no, but does he exist or is he a figment no. of your imagination he when she was so it is offensive or just say yes or no yeah no, no he did at one point when she was 6 years old so she, there was a person like that there was a he doesn't exist now yeah and it how is her uh, mental disorder imbalance cured by they do like pop psychology they say see what we'll do is every time she feels that she's falling in love with you akshay kumar keeps having accidents in her mind so they say then we'll do it till he dies he has such a bad accident and they get her some medicine where every time she has the medicine he has an accident it It's just the fuck. Are you serious? Just, I swear on you. I was just watching it, thinking, listen. Even if someone like writes a slapstick comedy, first it's not a slapstick comedy. Either Dhanush or Sara Ali Khan. I don't expect Akshay Kumar to do anything. Should have said this is offensive to people who might be psychologically a little disturbed first. Also, it makes no sense. So they are medical students. These. boy is the notion is friend and all so his friend is a psychology student so he says see this medicine should have and you see she's imagined this person and we'll each time she asks so she has the medicine she's talking to akshay kumar he falls off the branch of a tree then he falls off a building sometimes and all and then ultimately anyway it's very like it makes no sense and she ends up with dhanush so it's like hum dil de chuke sanam because but dhanush the, but one of the one of the people is imaginary one of the people is imaginary and there's a lot of shit beings so i just thought it was also very offensive given that and a little worrying given that in a place like india if you see that you have schizophrenia the first say oh pagal hai pagal hai that you we don't understand mental disorders over here you're saying it's like rubbish she just imagines she is and she's acting do you get they must have sold this to her as you are going to be doing a lot of acting because she has to act in scenes where akshay kumar is there but then akshay kumar is not there and she's still emoting okay so i'm glad i missed nothing thank you so much that she said for doing all the heavy lifting of off all that was awesome now we are interviewing the creator and writer of the couple manu joseph hi manu yeah hi i mean and then love uh, lovely to be here so manu you i see are wearing short sleeve while i have a polo neck and a jacket on So, are you in Goa, or are you just macho like that? <laughs> no, I'm very much in Goa. I have a jacket right next to me, and uh, in case uh, no, you're not in Goa. You're in Gurgaon. You mean? Very much in Gurgaon. Yeah, I was in Goa last week, and see, I, that's why he's getting confused. Yeah, I, I do regret coming back here, but yeah, <laughs> but I do this. I have this habit of just doing uh, uh, pull-ups. You should also try it. Just do pull-ups on a bar every thirty minutes. 
you really you feel quite warm yeah i should do and it pull-ups also are intense but they don't make you sweat or you don't have to do it for more than a minute so it just keeps keeps you warm in a very efficient way i think really? people can do without more exercise i can start doing this in my house maybe really? also manu has given an exercise which see very people see when you do when you just do a pull up many pull people up. Just, they just hang <laughs> because you have to pull yourself up <laughs> yeah it's not the easiest thing you ask people yeah, you have it yeah but even the dangling is actually good so dangling is also very good <laughs> I'll try that. So I'll get a bar put here in office because I feel very cold. But it's not the weather we want to talk about. We want to talk about Manu's new series called Decoupled, which is uh, all over. It has the haters hating and the lovers loving, and Manu enjoying every bit of it. One of your tweets that I loved was, "It's got cold enough that the coconut oil has started freezing." Something like that. You had said the sign of weather. It's a, it's But, my annual uh, announcement of winter on behalf of all Malayalis. The coconut oil is frozen. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, so so I love that, and I actually use Dr. Sudha Sokan's oils of Ayurveda. Oils, what is it? Dr. Sudha Sokan, she uh, Ayurveda, I swear by. But those of you who know Manu, uh, don't need this introduction. But many of you who may not, uh, Manu is a journalist. He has been a columnist for uh, the Wall Street Journal, right? Um, no, the New York Times. The New York Times before that Mint. I don't know if you still have a column column in the Mint, but every week he riles somebody or the other up. Uh, he often takes a view that people are confused about. What should we think of this one? Uh, I believe he challenges you to think. I don't always agree with his pieces, but I think he makes a very uh, clever argument most of the time. And he is also the author of a book called Leila, Armed and Dangerous, and the author of a book on which another show was made. all serious men before we get to decoupled manu this you wrote for screen right decoupled yes yes it's a fresh uh, story but but uh, serious men was a novel which was then adapted yes and i understand one has to be you know you can't be completely uh, you can't always say what you think all the with you i never know were you happy with what emerged from the book when you saw the series uh, uh you mean serious men serious men was a yeah. film and even though i didn't write oh, the film my bad yeah. yeah yeah even though i didn't write serious men uh, i mean it, it was written by bavish mandalia and abhijit uh, so I, i was on the sets every every day and sudeep mishra the director uh, maybe he didn't know me well enough so he was very fond of me and uh, so we 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 had a in fact uh, people used to get nervous on the sets when sudeep would see me because then now we're going to talk right so it was like that so uh, so i was uh, so nothing in the film in the end surprised me because the writers and the producer had shown me the screenplay at various stages you know the only decision the major decision we had to make in the beginning was whether i'm going to write the film of serious men hmm. or or should i should i be kept away and at that point serious men was meant for theatrical release uh, meant to be a commercial mainstream uh, for me i'm someone uh, who i mean i i i like the mainstream though i uh, the people tell me that i i i'm i don't belong to the mainstream and that i only hope to be in the mainstream but i like the mainstream i don't look down upon it so i was very excited by the idea that these popular writers would make a hindi film which is which will be uh, probably commercially successful so and i at that time i thought it maybe it's a, it's not a good idea for me to attempt it because I, at that time i thought i won't be able to write a commercial hindi film uh, so the decision was made but then suddenly uh, uh, netflix uh, happened you know and then uh, the next thing we know it's it's for netflix but already i had committed that i won't interfere i won't uh, be a part of the writing process so that was it but but do you think uh, and sorry raju you can come in i, I should uh-huh. of all the questions but <clears throat> like for example what uh, with rashdi and and midnight suit for example uh, uh, rashdi is one of my favorite authors <clears throat> but clearly screenplay is not his thing because it's a different discipline right yeah i think novel is also is not his thing oh really i was a, i was a big fan i see i was 19 when i read Mid- midnight children and uh, uh-huh. i mean i'm one of those guys but it was the first time i was uh, exposed to style you know that 
beautiful yeah, he, yeah. his, his I, like, I, I, like sentences many, that go on for two paragraph sentences i loved all that and i in fact i keep a notebook for all those words i still remember some of the words tintinabulation tintin to digitator all those you know mm. my vocabulary just increased but more than that i loved the beautiful prose you know linking the hands of the clock to you know uh, namaste and mm. uh, I, so it was a it was a very influential book for me you know but now when i when i but recently i read when i student i mean that happens to the books that you love you know but so i feel that uh, uh, i mean we have may, maybe many of us have moved on from rashti and i know the struggle with midnight sun i know why a lot of people have struggled to make a movie out of it um, and also the fact that he wrote this all the midnight sun is not my favorite rashti book it mine is shame i think that's very very funny i think rashti is very funny but a novelist doing screenplay do you think that is a leap a lot of people cannot make i think some some writers can and uh, and maybe the strength of uh, and that is not the strength for some of the writers like rashti you know probably he you know his his style is more suited for novels um and uh, for example even my some of my favorite writers say like uh, uh, marquez you know marquez mm -hmm. also attempted screenplays you know so uh, uh, but i would say that some uh, some writers probably they themselves may not realize that like kundera or kudzi actually mm -hmm. would have been very good screen yeah they would be because you know? they write like that actually yeah because the they uh, they have a certain uh, they have a certain regard for the scene mm. and even though their literary value is in the description of the human mind and the human character and what screenplay can never get into is the mind uh, how much ever they may talk about point of view and everything uh, the screenplay never gets into the mind of a person it is uh, uh, it depends on your misunderstanding in a way to uh, to escalate its intellectual heft I think the a man who was a screenplay writer, but I guess there was no camera at the time. Was hardly yeah, far from the madding crowd. Is Yash Chopra film? That's what it is. No, but it's <laughs> like Jane Austen's novels. Also, they are so dramatic. It's no, but I think we are confusing a certain uh, uh, popular appeal with screenplay. I think well, screenplay is more. Uh, 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 it, it's a story which is uh, told only visually. You know, so uh, so I feel. that uh, the 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 mistake a lot of novelists write uh, when uh, make is that they they try to be true to the novel you know there is an idea of being true to the novel which is a very uh, misleading uh, concept i feel that the screenplay has to be a section of your book it should not be all of your book uh the 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 screenplay should choose what aspect of your book that that you need to tell and what you need to uh, leave out and then i feel that because novelists feel that they've done the difficult novel novels have so many more layers apart mm. from the story you need you need language you need many other things it's slightly more complex they might feel compared to the screenplay so they they think that screenplay is a simplistic version of the novel which is again it's not uh so i feel that adaptation is a right word for it you need to adapt it yeah now where did the couple come from uh, was it a, an idea which grew into a series a story uh how much of it is autobiographical because the character uh, mr ayer uh, says a lot of stuff that i expect manu to say and i know many people have said madhavan is a vehicle for manu to put what is that the world according to gap what is this? miller who who wrote that um um who wrote world according to gap i'll just google it and he wrote son of a circus also uh, yeah uh, uh, irving and, uh, steven uh, irving something irving i'll, I'll just uh, mm. raju is checking that but so, so how much so so tell me how did it come about why did you decide to make it how do you think of it uh was it an idea that grew into a series or was it a book that you said okay let's just do this as a show yeah who's the writer that's john you... irving irving correct that's the one see with uh, decouple the uh, see the thing is uh, uh, my mama my readers know me as a novelist and a journalist and uh, uh, but i have written a lot of screenplays in my 20s 
when you're when you're a writer in Bombay in 20 and people would exploit yeah. you when you're, you're a guy, I think the only way they can exploit you is make you write screenplay saying that we're going to make a movie, you know. And then I have uh, so my training actually in fiction comes from screenplays. Uh, uh, like most screenplays, nothing came out of it, you know. And but I like that form. Because mm. it is extremely, to me, you know, it might be a very serious thing for many, many people. To me, it's a very playful thing. You know, I'm uh, like when I'm writing a novel or when I'm writing prose, I'm not a very good person in the sense that it is all, it's too much focus, too much hard work. You know, it is not that I'm trying, but it is just need, if you can't marinate in certain ideas, you can't pull off a novel. While, while a screenplay, especially a com comedy, you know, like I, I love comedy, you know, I feel that the, uh, I, uh, I, I don't get excited by fantasy and uh, comedy in, in fiction then I'm left only with comedy because comedy is the only thing which comes close to uh, realism you know um, or reality so I, I, I have a, a great regard for this and I have uh, uh, I had some observation this is exact this is a kind of a story I'm not interested in at all as a novel it is not a novel for me it is too light, and uh, 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 yes, the, it is about ideas, and uh, I feel that I am someone who feels that storytellers get trapped in plots, and they then try to fix the plot, and make the plot move, and do a lot of things, but actually every story is entirely character. And uh, uh, and I'm, I'm someone who gets excited by ideas and how well you can portray the reality around you. And uh, in my method of writing, when you know what your lie is, uh, you have to make everything around it very real. So, which is what I, I try to do. And uh, see, as for the autobiographical element, mean, now some readers are saying that when they're reading, they're reading my column in the Mint, they feel the Madhavan is narrating it. You know, so I think we have kind of switched, we have switched bodies, you know, so. So what, as in where did you get the idea for this? Because there recently there have been a bunch of uh, shows like Marriage Story and all, you know, have you seen the one with, uh, who is it, Jessica Chastain oh, and Oscar Isaac, where it, it starts similarly in the sense that uh, the no, that story, the film is different. I think you're talking about yeah. Scenes. This is scenes the series which is yeah scenes from a marriage. So that's different. Yeah. So yeah. I've seen that. Yeah. Um, so it's a little only the beginning is a little similar where they are being interviewed by uh, someone about their but marriage. Also, the pitch yeah. to Netflix. You know how how yeah. real is the pitch to Netflix as you show the pitches to Netflix? Sorry, Raju, uh, we've got a subscriber who written to us. And he had compared this with that. Um, Which one? Con control your enthusiasm. Oh, curb so, your enthusiasm. Okay. But I don't see it. I haven't. Yeah, I haven't I seen thought. it. No, but even this week we've got a uh, subscriber mail that has said the same thing. So I, I haven't seen that show, but yeah, Manu, just we have two subscribers yeah. who wrote over that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm a, I'm a fan of Larry David and curb your enthusiasm, hmm. and uh, I can I can see why people who who like curb your enthusiasm hmm. see something in it. Hmm. Um, uh, but uh, I mean, we have been compared to Seinfeld, Kirby Enthusiasm, and uh, a, a few others were kind of weird, like like I would say Marriage Story and all that, you know, they are very, I mean, I, I enjoyed Marriage Story, though uh, uh, the, the the screenplay of uh, Decoupled, by the way, was completed before yeah. Marriage yeah. Story was released, but I, but these are, when Marriage Story is, it's so serious, right? Yeah. I mean, it, it is real and it, it, it works because uh, it is serious. Uh, so I, I feel that I mean, I, mean, I, I was, I'm not surprised at all by these comparisons. Um, uh, so my question is like, so, you know, so, <laughs> so, so it reminds you of some other series. Okay, fine. You know, uh, so what? But did you, how closely do you work with Madhavan and the other actors like the Sareen Chavla and all on getting, because I've seen some other, I think the film that she acted in and another so she's not bad, actually, but the other films and all you because they are like she's a, a starlet or something in that film. So how closely do you work with the actors to figure out how good they are at acting in a show like this, right? This, this kind of dialogue is something that even a Madhuvan has never done. It's mm -hmm. always in the commercial yeah. cinema or his uh, 
the tam cinema that he is doing so yeah. it's very different to what they are used to yeah so uh, i mean the uh, uh, i i remember the night when i called madhavan you know mm. i got the number from bharadwaj rangan and i called uh, madhavan and mm. uh, and then i said i'll send you the fir- first episode and then surveen chawla came from mm. you know uh, Vikram Motwani had suggested, and the, okay. the rest of the cast. I mean, that's mm-hmm. the director's strength. Uh, Hardik Mehta is uh, exceptionally uh, good at casting these crucial characters mm. around the leads. Uh, so I was, I was on set every day. I mean, we shot for forty-five mm. days, except for three days. I was not there three days mm. because I had to fix something in the last episode. so i was there watching chiefly just watching and you know sometimes i love I mean, so obviously interacting and also doing the cameo in the aircraft yeah yes. that was on the last day of the shoot <laughs> so that was on the last day of the shoot uh, and hardik a- too you and hardik both yeah did you take inputs from them and did you because it's very different from what they usually do i've never seen either of them yes. uh, work in this kind of a show or yeah, did you uh, have to tweak your script as per what, what they were comfortable with you know yeah. initially the screenplay was designed in such a way to improvise a bit you know hmm. which is where, i mean it is a, uh, in the sense that, like i i had read that larry david had done that with kavi enthusiasm hmm. so i thought theoretically it might be possible you hmm. give the idea but i want you to say it the way you would say it hmm. not the way i would say it you know because i speak english very differently yeah. the one thing i did not want is for it to sound uh, uh, fake you know so it's hmm. almost like a, a suitable boy you know I, uh, so right yeah <laughs> um so uh so i think we lastly we lastly pulled it off because uh, uh, but then uh, but then it, it i mean uh, i figured that it is it is better if we largely st- uh, stick to the dialogues okay because they are written in a very conversational mm-hmm. manner and what was most interesting about the actors i realized is that they are in a way act- directors of their own acting you know yeah. so they you know the good actors they know uh they know what they know what to do and they you know so they they improvise in their own ways uh so it has been it, so it was uh, we we had we had a lot of conversations uh, uh and and a lot of questions you know can this be this way you know in that sense it's very different from writing a, a column or, or <laughs> where or it's just you it's just your decision yeah. what you're coming to so, so, so you need a certain um uh, a uh, quali- qualified humility uh, to be a writer of a visual medium you know where was that hard for you <laughs> yeah <I know. laughs> so uh, so i i had to uh, reach out to my experience as an editor you know so in a way it's not very different from being an editor where mm. you're sitting and you're listening to opinions and you're trying to keep a poker face because you're still in the process of making your own decision you know at the same time you are you're taking in all the great decisions and then you have to negotiate your way you know in in some matters you know so 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 in fact uh, i i felt as between my experience as a novelist journalist as a more important an editor which is actually a half corporate position you know but you yeah. can't be an activist if you've been an editor of a mainstream uh, uh, magazine hmm. uh i felt that you know I, yeah i can do it you know so it was very exciting for me so uh, you know hardik is someone we had him on the media rumble in fact last mm. last year i was blown away by his film uh, kami i don't know if you've seen it i've seen it and uh, so i saw that film and i was like who's made this film and i you know i interviewed him after that and then we had him on the media rumble and then he was also one of the writers of um, patal lok which was i thought amazingly written so a uh, fantastic um, you know director from a craft point of view uh was he your first pick because from the craft point of view i've seen you know both his films and he really is amazing but this is I'll not a documentary to uh, uh of all his work what famous. i like most is you know that famous in ahmedabad yeah gujarat uh, mein famous what is it called sorry uh, ahmedabad uh, ahmedabad uh, mein famous yeah. yeah famous yeah so, so yeah exactly he, yeah that's true he's he's amazing but hmm. but he uh, you know i've had two very long interviews with him so he doesn't really come from this gurgaon space correct so did you 
were was he your first pick were you concerned that some of the comment that you are doing you know the 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 sub, like the bits of you know uh, when those guys are sitting in a hotel and whether it's you know waiter coming and irritating you or certain things are like that's not very delhi i think that's all over india but the certain things are very delhi gurgaon was that a concern that the, what you're trying to say through that scene will be lost on someone not from ncr actually those scenes are not the problem the cult, like uh, to answer your first question I mean, he he was the he was the only pick you know in the sense that uh, after uh, how it worked was i had this idea the same producers of serious man i told them and they immediately got it throughout right from the beginning until until now there were only two kinds of reactions to the couple either you immediately get it or you wonder what the hell is going on or why it even exists you know so right from the beginning even when as a concept you know and then uh, i i uh, went to netflix and i had this i remember this you know uh, one hour meeting when i pitched it you know they immediately got it you know and i knew okay that's was speech because there is no explanation of this beyond what i'm trying to tell you mm. there's no you can't explain a comedy you know you can't explain why something is funny or explain a joke you know either you get it you laugh or you just you know or the other honest uh, expression is you're kind of you really don't like it you know uh then uh, we approached uh hardik and uh, he was very interested in directing serious men that's how we met first you know but by that time uh, uh sudhir mishra was already you know uh, making serious men uh so uh, so that, so that's how so then after that it was it was all a collaboration right but to answer your question what's interesting here is the 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 cultural difference is not in the scenes as much you know because most of the time if things are not universal i'm not interested in showing you know i uh, i'm not uh, I, i'm not a, a provincial anthropologist that way you know where i most of the themes have to be general like when you eat you you're coming to your punchline the waiter comes and asks you is, is it hot or can i serve you right so that interruption if everybody has not got it i don't want it in a in a comedy because it's a waste of uh, uh it's a waste of a moment like for example uh, if uh, when the security guard opens the dicky of your car mm. and he's appearing to search for something nobody knows what mm. well you could be laden with bombs you could be sitting on a bomb you could be the bomb he doesn't check you like if you're not from india and you don't get that moment you don't understand why that guy is lying in the dicky mm. the boot of the car uh it's universal for indians you know sure. but actually what is interesting is the uh why something is there you know why something is funny or why is a conversation uh there you know so those are the those are the larger issues uh where i think a cultural conflict can come about you know what is funny and what is not funny you know uh when uh, the, there's a reason why a screenplay is structured especially in a comedy you know there are moments of intellectual heft and there are moments of absolute uh, boyish uh, humor right so mm-hmm. how do you balance these things and why you know uh, uh so those those are the more interesting conversations we have had uh tell me about chetan bhagat and is he a friend of yours that's he's why he's a friend of mine he is now <laughs> yeah he, he's, he's a, a friend, friend of mine uh, just just yeah. why he's a he's a friend of mine i hang out with him even when we are not recording the hafta uh and uh, so i'm very curious i actually i'm glad she yeah. asked that because i i get chetan and i i really uh, appreciate his uh, his support for news laundry and his telling me that how i'm such a shit marketing guy that i can't market a good product uh, so, but but Uh, and i get that i do think and i've told rajshri often enough that uh, and i i i don't think chetan is a great writer but i enjoy his books i mean it, it's a story but what i find fascinating is a lot of people who trash him uh trash him not for justified reasons and i think there he's completely right in that set that you have to belong to where a lot of mediocre writing gets a free pass in delhi if you belong to that set and i i won't take names but if you trash chetan your book better be better than his and if it's not then stop trashing him yeah. think, so so a what do you think of chetan's grouse with the elite uh, and he doesn't use the word lootians at least not with me and b what do you think of his writing 
I, and he's a great actor, by the way. I think he was phenomenal. That scene yeah. when he gives you a middle finger, not you, Madhavan, the middle finger, and drives by. That expression was fuck. No, no, he was very good in the show. I, I think he should was, act more. Yeah. <laughs> he, he was a good, good sport, and uh, yeah. and I'm I'm just glad that the you know the inst- instinct just paid off because Chetan is a unique is a unique public figure that way, right? Hmm. Because you've not seen him play himself. And everybody, you know, he's the only writer apart from Arundhati Roy. It does hurt me to say this, but he's the only writer apart from Arundhati Roy in India. Like you don't need an introduction. Everybody knows this person, yeah. and is right. You don't have to describe, okay. you know. Uh, so, so uh, I knew that this is a sitting duck casting, you know, hmm. in, a, in a story like this, in a modern urban story like this. Now, I would use the word grouse. I don't think. See, Chetan is too successful. To have a grouse against see the problem with the elite, okay, to which probably you also belong in the intellectual elite, is that even when you're being humble, you think that this community is some big deal. Okay, because because they are used to distributing a claim, okay, and because it matters mm-hmm. to many people in the ecosystem. There is a belief, and don't forget, I'm, I'm a beneficiary of the same elite also, you know, where I've uh, got some awards and all that. So, uh, they, they feel that everybody wants this, okay? And it is the same with the American elite, which is where it's all coming from, the way they write about popular writers. They feel that ultimately what they want is the appreciation of the New Yorker magazine, which is complete bullshit, okay? Mm-hmm. It could be true for young people, you know, who want appreciate for anywhere, you know, and if other public figures are appreciating them, it's great. But after a point, in fact, that is the tragedy. And then I think it is an interesting conversation to have. But the reason why I feel that Chetan Bhagat might be irritated by, by all the criticism, and especially as you said, uh, my mediocre writers themselves, their only achievement on, on that day is not great prose that they have dissed uh, Chetan Bhagat. You know, and then I want to see what, okay, uh, what have you written, you know, and uh, they have nothing much to show there, right? So I would say, yes, it is, it could be irritating, it could also be, you know, uh, but I don't think Grouse is, Grouse captures probably how he feels about it right now, because I really don't think he wants to uh, belong uh, to uh, that segment and that he's no, I, I don't know, I don't think... But I've told him this more than once, in fact, on Hafta also once that I think he spends disproportionate time on social media and even in conversations reacting to that. Like, and I told him, I said, dude, you sell more books in a day than many of them sell in a year. Why would you even acknowledge their existence on Twitter? But yet often he will say, oh, they this, oh, they that. I was like, dude, your way. It's like, it's like Amitabh Bachchan in the 70s saying that Oh, so so and so rejected me. Fuck, man, dude, you're with How does it matter? You know, that it, that's in that sense. Yeah, so. I agree. I, in fact, I think I once I asked him, you know, uh, a similar question. I agree with you that even I mean, it's something which at once surprised me also. But I feel that he's maybe when he's doing this, he's actually talking to his constituents, you know, who are yeah. enjoying this, uh, you know. Uh, this this trigger, you know, taking them so, on also taking on so, the yeah. So most of them, when he's saying, he's not talking to us. You know, he's yeah. talking to most of those people who are who are getting it. And I suppose it is uh, maybe maybe it's a good move. But I still, if 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 I were his friend, I would tell him. Uh, I mean, don't like you know you you mm. you're beyond it now. You know, you don't have to. So now, if there's one thing you could change about the show today after you've seen, because you know what it looks like on screen play and what finally merges is always different. What worked better than you expected and what didn't? Hmm. So it's very difficult to answer this honestly, you know, and I'm very inarticulate when I'm trying to be uh, diplomatic, you know, um, <laughs> because, because some, of the, some of the more interesting thing is something it's just, you know, like, like all of truth, it just makes everybody uncomfortable, right? Uh, but it's a very interesting question. Um, so within, uh, within reasonable limits, what I can answer is, uh, uh, see, what worked uh, more than what I expected. There were, there were characters like Mayank, the friend, mm. the friends of mm. Arya, right? So they didn't have, I mean, they're like, like even, I mean, actually even Shruti, uh, 
the the she the ex wife so to say of arya played by surpi they they didn't have much going in terms of just the script or the dialogue you know they they made uh, something out of the moments right so those things uh, were the ones which worked better than i thought mm-hmm. so these characters who who escalated uh, themselves um what could have been better is uh, uh i would say to some extent the pace you know uh i i i felt in some moments that see if i, I, I i'm a big fan of an uh, uh, intensity and slowness and i i i actually feel that uh comedy is drama in fact a test of a good comedy is that you remove all your jokes is it still a drama mm. and if it fails the test it's not going to be a very good comedy because comedy is drama but at the same time, i particularly i i am allergic to background music the jin chak jin chak i don't understand the point of mm. most background music which is unremarkable and let's not forget we have the <laughs> lounge music and elevator music we've also made european enlightenment classicals also uh, dull you know ambience they, <laughs> the come ambience so i feel that when it's very important i feel that we need to to uh, it's such a sound is so important to us that we need to uh, think deeply about it like what are we doing with the sound right and i feel silence is a sound hmm. you know especially in comedy silence is a sound you know people looking at each other is 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 a moment right so so but uh, so maybe yeah in terms of uh, in terms of the pace you know so maybe it'll be uh, either more silent in parts or faster right uh, do you understand the criticism any of the criticism that's been some of it i'm not clear what people are criticizing because i've tried to understand what they are upset about but uh, where it is coherent the criticism do you understand it or do you even take it on board at all I, there is something about feedback i'll tell you very very honestly i when i when i know from the headline if hmm. it's a bad review yeah. i don't read it i don't read that's it. why i'm asking you no know, i don't read it at all and people tell me and then the uh, like so it's all so personal like as I, i mean i <laughs> i've not read the, those five or six hmm. reviews which came that day in fact i just texted all the crucial people who are involved and tell them don't don't worry i'm just used to this kind of stuff and uh, okay. i'm getting reactions and trust me this is uh, exceptional you know so don't be down and then uh, but why don't you read reviews that are not uh, that are critical see because it is just uh, it's it seems pointless it's not entertaining for me you know like uh, if it is something particularly interesting i'll get to know right otherwise if it is uh if if it emerges from a certain ism you know if it is some kind of uh, from socialism or feminism or all these labels you know then i know that you're not going to get it but know? how would you know until you've read it no because from the headline and the first paragraph for me i mean i'm a i've been in yeah, yeah that you can get, get. Hmm, no. okay so you but do I, read the first I, paragraph then okay. honestly i should tell you that sometimes i don't read good reviews also i, I should tell i should say one thing about these guys that they are probably more entertaining when they're being negative because they're so boring that even the, when they say something good about you i mean people may not want to watch it actually it's not a bad thing if someone is going to say this is a remarkable work of you know social anthropology of gurgaon 100000 people in gurgaon may not may not want to watch this uh, thing and on because they i think a negative review is more interesting you know probably the initial days which is benefited you know so i don't know but honestly i don't but you if you you, you can take uh, aspects of this criticism and it be quite mm-hmm. entertaining for me to uh, discuss that you know i i know that one someone said i am the problem in the thing and someone said it's my columns and someone had a problem with the with the way yeah, they say that that that, that, is, that, is, that, is, that is that i r is the vehicle for manu's thoughts that yeah that that is a recurring theme but, but that's not the criticism how, that's an observation yeah that's, i mean that doesn't have a value associated that's just yeah that's what i'm saying that's not but uh, particularly uh, i think the... one of the criticisms is and as a woman who is watched it 
uh, your it is a little surprising. I don't. I wouldn't say it's surprising is the wrong word. There are certain aspects where I know you're trying to be comic about it, where you do think that okay, this is not something that would appeal to any woman, or this is not the way most women would react. I know, of course, there are outliers and all. You can't say all women would not react like this, but a woman from the social background that she seems to be from and all, that this is not, like, how is this attractive? This is not like what we look for in a man or in an affair, say, with a married man. But, uh, so there are certain things which are a little, like, you're like, you okay, give me an example, like a, like uh, a specific example. Okay, I did find one thing odd, which I didn't, I don't know why you did it, but you can explain if there was any great thought behind that. It might not have had any great thought. Uh, Madhavan has an affair, like he has sex with someone else. But like all good Hindi films and good Hindi shows, the woman never crosses that line. Like she gets to it, but doesn't cross that line. Now, there's no reason why she shouldn't have slept with her boss because he is frankly more attractive than Madhavan is and a nicer person at that point. So what is the thought behind it? Is it that women do, should no, not be known as transgressing? It's not at all, actually. See, that kind of symmetry, in fact, uh, in one episode, we're hinting at that kind of a symmetry. Mm. You know, that uh, the fact that she wants to do it and she can do it is very clearly established mm. in, the, in the story, right? But then the decision I had to make, you know, in fact, mm. was, you know, to keep the, the, keep the interest, the tension going you know, mm. for both, which is what happens in, in episode six, you know, I mean, I, I don't think it's a big spoiler. I mean, it's, it's so it's okay. Uh, so, it, uh, so we have an episode where they almost cross the line. Yeah. And both of them, you know, something happens, you know, typically in areas where, you know, mm. he, he misbehaves or he opens his mouth mm. right? and uh, he loses his chance to get laid. And uh, in uh, in the uh, in Shruti's case, I thought it was a moment very well done by her. It's very mm. realistic, you know. That uh, you know. So, yeah, yeah. You know, so and then so so that whole that idea was to keep the high stakes on, you know. So when a couple are separating, mm. sleeping with other people, okay, mm. is is an another phase. Okay, and uh, I wanted to still keep the tension that okay, are they going to you know uh, forever cross the line or just cross the line? Not that they can't come back after sleeping oh. with each other. It's not still uh, so. Uh, so all those fact, you no know, things were factored yeah. in, and uh, even at the end, it looks like you know Shruti. You know, obviously Shruti wants to do the the Korean. You know, but yeah. then a better. Uh, option comes up okay, professionally hmm. and uh, she just uh, uh, chooses that because she she doesn't want to sleep with the boss she wants uh, 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 also the boss is not there to sleep with her because he's on video call so yeah. that makes yeah. it easier also to not sleep so I would say that we are, we are way past the time where you know we are like we're trying to show this traditional because yeah. we, have, we have shown her that she wants to, she wants to, you know. So I'm, once you've shown that, uh, we, we, we can't be accused of trying to, you know. Hold I have that. one last question, unless Rajshri, you have another. Oh, I just wanted to say that I don't know whether you meant that this character to remind people of this other person, but uh, their friend who is the Guruji, right? Yeah. He's just like Suhail. <laughs> and I really felt if Suhail had done the role, like it would have been. Eight? Suhail, see it. He the just Guru. looks like him, a thinner he version. Other, other than that, there's no. Woman wants to sleep with other than that, there is. I don't know which women you're hanging with who want to sleep with. No, no, no. No women. <laughs> but I'm saying no one way. I have ever met in my life wants to. But... No, no. I'm saying the way he portrays himself. That, like, you know, that little. There's something about him which just reminded me. But I think that's so just the, his face. Think I think the white, the that, that, that thick, like, you know, crop of white hair on the face. Other than that, the characters to me are. But I, I don't uh, know. Manu, any, any resemblance? Do you see it? No, Did you think no, of Suhail? I, I, uh, I don't agree. I don't think there's a spirit of Suhail in Agni. Agni uh, exists uh, for this reason. There are things, well, I mean, Arya can say, Arya is obviously a 
great character who can say almost anything. Mm. He's almost like a it's actually a superhero story, right? Uh, but there are things I still, I mean, Arya can't say, won't say because he's mm. still my protagonist. So mm. Agni, Agni, Agni is the Yoda. To Agni, his... <laughs> Agni is the guy who can say anything, you know. Yeah. So, he was, a, he, so he's Agni the, is the Yoda to Obi Wan Kenobi, basically, if, if yeah. for the for the start Star Wars generation, but. Last, you know, actor to actor, Manu, since we've both acted and, you know, I, I'm a little more evolved because I've done theater and, and cinema both. You've only done cinema. Oh, yeah. Joking. <laughs> no, spectacular, no, spectacular. <laughs> no, no, okay, last question, because I know a lot of people want to know and I myself want to know because I've told you, I have <clears throat> appreciated and admired your writing for a long time. But I've also often wondered, and I, I wonder if there's any truth to it. Like you have the ability and my friend uh, Anand Vardhan also has that ability to make an argument that I don't always agree with, but in a rational, intelligent way, which one has to push back also in a rational, intelligent way. Um, but often, and I, I used to tell my friend Mihir this back when he used to write for the Express, how much of that now comes from an original point of view and knowing this will rile people up? Because I always wonder that has Manu written this just to say, let me fucking provoke them? Or is this an original thought that's coming? Or is it just the pressure of having to write a column? No, I, I have no interest in provoking people. In fact, this comes up very often. I don't say, one, I don't write anything I don't mean, you know? Uh, and uh, because it's too important for me, this is what I do. And uh, uh, and the, the reason why people get confused, okay, that people feel that my, my columns are provocative is because most columnists, in my view, don't seem to understand the point of a column. Okay, You are not going to argue that you're not supposed to eat babies. Okay? The obvious, deeply, yeah. yeah. That's the point of stating the obvious. I deeply believe it. But you have to say something <laughs> remarkable. What is the point of view that is not there yet okay and then and most of the time actually 99 percent of the time i agree with all the all of contemporary morality you know it is just that i have no argument to make in support of women driving in saudi arabia because it's very obvious to me and i have no interest in writing uh, about an obvious moral uh, argument I find the gray area, and it is gray only because the arguments are too immature right now, you know? And that is why, like, for example, if someone has a problem with Adam, and someone uh, uh, is, I mean, and people feel, for example, privacy is a foundational morality. They don't realize it's an invention, okay? When, when, when you don't realize that privacy, the idea of privacy is an invention in Western Europe and America, and it is an idea, Okay, and it's a good idea. Okay, then you try to deny your own people uh, ex uh, extreme economic uh, measures because of some uh, notions of privacy. Then I think it's an interesting column, interesting argument to make, you know. And uh, uh, so that I've just given an example of these are the things I do, you know. So it seems it seems provocative only because other people have not provoked you enough. Uh, for uh, for me to be unremarkable, you know, it is not it is not my fault. Um... <laughs> Good point. All right, thank you, Manu. Good luck. What are we looking at next? A novel, a show, what? Oh, I are we looking at are we are we looking at you in booths dancing? I wouldn't mind that actually. It's just that I have no talent, uh, you know, to, to dance. In fact, one of the things I, I want to do is to defame the dancing man. Uh, <laughs> He's my cultural uh, rival, you know. <laughs> I, I feel that, uh, you know, I have to come in the way of the general appreciation of the dancing man. Um, so, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to develop some of my books uh, uh, for screen, you know. Mm. I find the uh, OTT revolution interesting because the first time I belong to an industry which is not dying. Uh, otherwise, <laughs> when I was 20, I joined journalism, it began to die. Then I uh, I wrote a novel uh, when 10, 12 later after I mean, in my early 30s, and then then I realized publishing is also dying everywhere. So now for the I'm just enjoying. So before it dies, I just before it to... does. <laughs> before you ring the death knell. Yes. <clears throat> but you All were right. telling us what is in the offing, the parts which you can announce. Uh, 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 about my future projects. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm beginning to start a novel, which is going to take a long time. And I'm also trying to develop uh, the illicit happiness and Miss Lila for screen. So I'll be busy with these uh, these ventures. I well, think. Good luck with Miss Lila with this government is around. <laughs> but I, I don't see how who's going to release it. But uh, no, when I you write a novel, about, I feel this. I, I, that's what I enjoy doing. You know, when, when things look tough, you know, I just find a very practical solution. Okay, I look forward to that. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I've started also toying with the idea of writing a novel, but I can't get beyond three pages. How, how, I how, think how, keep it to that, Neku. Just keep it to so, that. How, what is, I've, I've seen that you had on your, this thing of that, how to complete a novel. But uh, you go back to your writing every day, like thousand words a day, 500 words a day, then revisit. What's your... No, that's when I start. The novel is, novels are very slow when I, I spend eight hours, maybe I'll write 500, 600 words, and, but I've not reached the position where I've started. There's a, there's a particular start to a novel, you know, when you know that, okay, this is going to happen. I've not reached that yet. Um, but yeah, I, uh, uh, I hope to get there very soon. All right. Good hey. luck, Manu. Thank you for your time. And uh, yeah, we look forward to your future ventures, especially killing the dancing man. Great. Uh, thanks a lot for hosting me. I'm very, Thank you. very curious to know what your review of the couple is. So yes, watch it for a full honest review yes. after this, or before <laughs> this, depending on where Jude puts it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had requested him to put this interview after your review. So then we will put the review before this interview. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Thanks okay, so much, Manu. Care. Bye. Thank you so much. I enjoyed Bye. it. Bye. All right. Bye. Uh, well, that's all the video part of this podcast. The rest of the podcast is going to be audio only. So check it out on whatever podcast platform you listen to your podcasts on. Uh, and hopefully stay indoors, stay safe so we can record from the studio. So catch you for the rest of the podcast on the audio only version. The subscription model is something that keeps news on your float, but we need hundreds of thousands of people to completely transform the news ecosystem. So you pay for news, so it serves you. So click on the link with this video, subscribe to News Laundry and pay to keep news free. And say, Mere khaj par azad hai khabrein.